Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about iOS 13 developer beta 6 as I usually like to do a few days later after Apple releases a new beta. I'd like to share with you guys my thoughts on the software if I've come across any bugs. How's the battery doing and I've tested multiple devices over the past five to six days since the beta has been released. The iPhone SE, the iPhone 10s and the iPhone 10R. Now I was also testing the iPhone 8. We'll talk about this in a few seconds, but for those of you that want to know how's the battery, the performance, and any additional new features and changes that I've come across within the software. We're going to talk about that in this video. I also want to talk about the YouTube community poll. That's a YouTube community poll where I ask you guys, how's iOS 13, the latest beta, beta 6 in this case, working for you? That way we get a better understanding on all the issues surrounding iOS 13 from everyone's perspective. So let's begin. Now, before we talk about iOS 13 developer beta 6, I want to talk about iPhone 8 and give you guys a quick update for those of you that may be interested. If you didn't watch over the past few days, I posted a video here on YouTube where I showed you an iPhone 8 display popped out due to the battery inside being defected. It was swollen and it caused the display to pop out. That's how swollen it was. Now, I thought this was because I left it charging overnight. It wasn't because of the wireless charger. It wasn't because of the charging overnight. It wasn't because of the operating system. When Apple ran a diagnostics, they actually kept the iPhone for about three to four days and they came back with a diagnostics telling me that there's a 1% fail rate on lithium ion batteries apparently and that that iPhone's battery was actually defected. So I was actually very, very concerned. If you didn't watch that video, I'll link it down below. So what ended up happening was Apple actually replaced the entire unit. So this iPhone 8 is not the same one that I had. Apple completely replaced it. They kept the other one for further research. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Apple had gave me a brand new iPhone 8. By the way, my iPhone was not covered under Apple Care or it was not under warranty and Apple still replaced the device for me with no cost. So big thanks to Apple for doing that. Now I have an iPhone 8 for testing in iOS 13 and I'm happy with the results and hopefully uh, that iPhone will help Apple prevent those situations from happening again in the future. The first thing I want to talk about is the family sharing options under iCloud settings. I got this new Apple Arcade option here to enable Apple Arcade and when I did I received this brand new splash screen here. Now Apple Arcade for those of you that don't know it's going to be Apple's new platform that allows users to play ad-free games on their devices, rather as an Apple TV, a Mac, an iPad, or an iPhone. Now you'll be able to enable family sharing. So if you subscribe to the service, everyone in the family can enjoy the games. Now, if you enabled Apple Card, you also get a new schedule payment splash screen when you first enable Apple Card. So you're never late on your payments. Now I did uh, requested a physical card, which is going to be arriving here in studios in the next couple of days, in the next two days or so after filming of this video. So stay tuned for that. There's a few things I wanna share with you guys about the Apple Card. And again, you can schedule payments and you'll get that splash screen once you enable and get approved for your brand new Apple Card. So this week under my YouTube community poll, I ask you guys, how's iOS 13 developer beta 6 and public beta 5 working for you? That way we have a better understanding on every issue or all the issues surrounding the beta. As I mentioned, I tested the iPhone 10R, the iPhone SE, and the iPhone 10S, but it appears that some of you guys with different devices are having different issues and that's why these YouTube community polls are so important. I do them every week, so if you want to participate Pay, you can always come back every week, every beta. I post one new on YouTube. So this week's question is, how's the beta performing for you? And I ask you to leave your thoughts. We have 7,000 votes, great option, good, but still some bugs and not good. Those are the three options. At a 57%, we have uh, great. So a lot of you guys are having a great experience. Now I'm at the second option here, good, but still some bugs. I've had some random resprings on my device occasionally, actually more than before. So yeah, I'm there right now and not good. So 7% of you guys, that's up 1% from the previous beta, by the way. So not good is up 1%. So it appears that the iPhone 10 users, as we take a look here at the comments, this is a very popular one, the battery is bad. So it appears that the battery hasn't been performing as good for iPhone 10 users. I'll express my thoughts on the battery for the devices that I tested here in a few minutes. And it appears that there's still Wi-Fi problems. And yes, I can agree with this. I continue to have Wi-Fi problems on my main device, the iPhone XR, and as well as the iPhone XS. Not the older devices, just the newer devices. Let's continue here. We see that the dim of the wallpaper in dark mode isn't working. So if we go to settings, we go to the wallpapers categories, there's a dim appearance for the wallpaper here, but that doesn't look to be working on the latest beta. I'm not quite sure why that is, but yes, I definitely like that comment because it is true. It isn't working at the moment. 
Cell connectivity issues. By the way, guys, if you're having cell connection issues, Wi-Fi issues, please uh, leave the actual device that you're having the issues with so that there's a better understanding on which devices are having these issues because I personally are having the issues on the iPhone XR and the iPhone XS, but I would like to know your thoughts and your devices as well. Now, right below here, we see that the live wallpaper is now enabled on the iPhone XR, so that's a new feature available with iOS 13 for the iPhone XR users live wallpapers that is what that comment is so that's new there and overall let me give you my thoughts on the software in regards to performance yes there's still bugs especially with the mail application i've noticed some random respring's as i mentioned in regards to battery unfortunately older devices like the iphone se have poor battery life which wasn't the case a few betas back unfortunately after using it for i think it was 24 or 48 hours i used the iphone se it was poor poor battery life i'm talking five to six hours maybe in a good day for the iphone se now the iphone 10s and 10s max i can't complain the battery seems very similar to previous betas i'm getting anywhere from seven to eight in some cases eight and a half hours of battery life depending on the usage should you run this on your primary device that's always entirely up to you i'm okay with the beta right now although i do encounter some issues that is to be expected with the beta software on the devices again guys i do want to thank you for watching today's video for commenting and voting on those youtube community posts and expressing your thoughts thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace